rate it's been a really busy week this week and as often happens when you're in a rush you get things wrong so first of all i need to make an apology to everybody and to Morton for the video that i put on wednesday because i made a little bit of a mistake over how the monza caps are assembled before fitting and i'm now going to put that right as was quite rightly pointed out to me before the monza cap is fitted to the adapter the thick rubber gasket needs to be removed and replaced with an o-ring which is actually in the adapter kit if you don't what happens is the adapter plate doesn't screw in far enough and I would add that this is not a safety issue it's an aesthetics issue and it leaves about four or five millimeters of thread still showing at the bottom when it's fully screwed in now this has the effect of making the whole monza cap sit higher on the tank than it should be basically it sticks up too far so as an addendum to Wednesday's video, remove the existing gasket from inside the Monza cap and then replace it with the included slim o-ring, making sure that you push it right down to the bottom where the Monza cap seats onto the adapter plate then screw the adapter in fully the rest of the procedure is exactly the same it's just this one little thing that i got wrong now it's not a huge difference but if you do it this way what happens is the thread goes completely into the monza cap and you lose that four or five millimeters of thread it effectively goes all the way in so it lowers the monza cap by about five millimeters and looks much neater this is if you like all part of the continual development that Motone have been doing once again my apologies i will try harder right now for today's subject this is not going to be a long video i need to cut this as short as possible because there just hasn't been enough hours in this week next week fingers crossed i have a review coming up for a sat nav from a well-known sat nav manufacturer and as part of the review it was necessary to wire the sat nav mounting system into the bike now at the best of times i don't like chopping it into wires there have been one or two sort of electrical modifications i've made to this bike over the last two years and I don't want the wiring harness of the bike to start to resemble lots of pieces of string tied together, which is what was starting to happen. Now, the connection for the sat-nav can't be live all the time. It should only be live when the ignition is switched on. So what I decided to do was wire it into the circuit for the rear light, because I've already made some modifications there. That is going to have to be replaced at some stage anyway. So it made sense to go to that part of the wiring system rather than starting to cut up elsewhere now the only problem with this is i've already chopped into the wiring to fit the rng tail tidy that i did some year and a half ago and i also chopped into it to fit that smart 10 systems brake light module and to be quite honest it was all becoming a bit of a mess now i've already shot the video for the sat nav and what i did is i wired it in temporarily by doubling up on some of the connections i've already made in the past but i wasn't happy with it i didn't think it would be secure and, and go the distance so i needed to find a more sensible long-term solution now i was talking to sam at Motone customs about this and he pointed out that about a year ago he sent me a wiring harness which is a direct plug and play replacement for the triumph wiring harness for the rear end of the bike for the tail light and the rear indicators and he also pointed out that this has an accessory connector on it to allow you to do just this sort of thing so i dug it out and i'm quickly going to show you it now i'm not going to do a blow by blow rewiring everything up which color wire goes to where etc i've done that in previous videos i don't propose to keep going over it but there are plans to change the back end of the bike the tail light the indicators etc in due course so what i'll do is i'll go into that in more detail when that happens plan is uh, as you probably know, Moton make their own tail tidy. This is the RNG tail tidy that I've got fitted. Now, at the time they brought this out, which is when Moton sent me this harness, the Moton tail tidy had been designed to fit the Street Twin. And because of some complications in the design of the seat for the T120, it didn't fit, which is why I ended up fitting the RNG tail tidy. Also, it had the Lucas style light, which am not too keen on now Merton have just released a new tail tidy that will fit the t120 and it's also designed to accept Merton's new range of 
high pressure die cast alloy lights which does appeal to me and I think at the same time I'm also going to be looking at fitting some of Moton's indicators to the bike so i'll be going from led back to incandescent indicators so some aspects of this wiring are only going to be temporary the tail light and the rear indicators aren't going to be there forever so for today i'm just going to concentrate on this accessory till that Moton have thoughtfully incorporated into this loom. I did in the back of my head know that it existed but it just never occurred to me how damn useful something like this can be. So basically this is the loom. You've got a left rear indicator, a right rear indicator, the connectors for the tail light and brake light cluster and one spare one marked A which is A for accessory. Now I should mention this wiring loom is not designed to work with the OEM Triumph indicators. They have very very short leads on them, in fact ridiculously short, and this wiring loom doesn't reach them so I had to make up some 3 inch extensions to make this work. If you're fitting the Moton indicators you won't have any problem, they put plenty of cable on their indicators. Now bear with me because I've got some news towards the end of this video. So fast forward I've now got the tail light reconnected and the left and right rear indicator reconnected all that's left now is to connect the sat nav back up now thankfully the manufacturer supplies plenty of cable with this sat nav there's about four maybe even five feet of it so I followed the existing wiring loom underneath the fuel tank from the handlebars to the rear of the bike securing it in place as I went along so everything was safe and everything was neat and tidy it doesn't come with any bullet connectors so I put a couple of male bullet connectors onto the end of it and it simply plugs into that accessory tail on the Moton harness. Now, I know this is only going to be temporary. This is all going to get changed in the next month or so, maybe two months. But I do like to make a good job of things. You don't want connections coming undone when you're out on a ride somewhere. So I followed up by using various gauges of shrink wrap to waterproof and stabilise all the connections. It's as simple as that. I can't understand why no one else has thought of doing something like this. Now at some stage we all want to fit some form of accessories on our bikes. Whether it be a sat nav, a set of spotlights, fog lights, anything like that. Even a set of heated grips if you don't want to go to the expense of buying the Triumph ones. Now I've discussed this at length with Sam at Moton and he's decided that what he's going to do is going to make up some extensions that will work with this harness with the correct connectors to allow you to use it with the Triumph indicators if you decide to use the Triumph indicators. Now bearing in mind this is a short harness it's designed for use with tail tardies not with the original fender or mudguard that comes with the bike. He's also decided that he's going to put together some sort of wiring loom, not necessarily connected with this harness, that will allow people to add accessories to the bike without having to cut into the wiring. It'll be a simple plug and play solution. I'm not sure when this is going to happen, but Sam said that he's going to look into it straight away. Please let me know in the comments what you think of this idea and how many accessory connections you think would be reasonable. Myself and Sam decided that probably three would be about right, but let me know what you think. Now, the video for the sat nav should be coming up next week. I will leave a link for this wiring harness in the video description down below. I hope you found this video enlightening or useful. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I will be back next Wednesday, so until then, please ride safely and I'll see you soon.